Welcome everyone, here are some tips and tricks for Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. As you hold the power button, you're going to notice Bixby activates. What if you want to change Z Fold 4, so when you press and hold the power button, it actually turns off the phone? Well, what you do is you open up the settings app, you then scroll all the way down until you see advanced features, you then find side key, you then find press and hold, you change it from Wake Bixby to Power Off Menu. Now, when you press and hold the power button, you will have the power menu where you can power off and restart. Did you know that if you long press on the power off menu, you have the option to go into safe mode. If you're having issues with your phone, you go into safe mode for troubleshooting. Let's open up the camera now. So in the camera app, you may have thought you only have two selfie cameras. You have the selfie camera, which is under the display. You can see right here. If I flip the phone, open up the camera, you can notice we have the selfie camera right here. So where is the third selfie camera? So you're going to fold the Z Fold 4 outwards. You're going to make sure that the rear cameras are in use. You're then going to see this button right here. See that one? Tap on it. And it's going to turn on the cover screen preview. Now, when you flip your phone, you can use the rear cameras as a selfie camera in Z Fold 4. Remember, these <laughs> rear cameras are very good. So just tap on the selfie button here. And now we are using these triple camera set up here in order to take pictures in Samsung Z Fold 4. You can see when I cover the main lens, it's covering up. When I cover the selfie camera, it is not covering up. Now I'm going to fold, unfold, and I want to unlock my Z Fold 4. With Z Fold 4, there are multiple ways to take a screenshot. The first way, the most common way, is you click and release the power and volume down key together. So click release, like so, click release, and you can see the screenshot is taken. But did you also know, if you get your palm and slide it across from the far left to the far right -hand side of the screen, that will also take a screenshot, you can see right here. It's a bit finicky, but you'll get it down. But did you also know that there is a brand new way to take a screenshot with Z Fold 4? Open up the Apple question, fold, the phone in half, you're going to see this little folding icon, tap on this one, you'll be brought to the flex uh, mode panel, tap on that app, go back, fold the phone again, and now tap on OK, and then tap on the screenshot button, and you've just taken the screenshot, I can almost guarantee you did not know that existed. While we are in the flex mode panel, if you tap on the touchpad icon, you can now use the bottom part of your Z Fold 4 as a touchpad. You can change the volume, brightness, and activate the notification slash control center with a single button as well. Did you know that there are three ways, yes, three ways to split screen multitask in Z Fold 4? So the first way is you open up the app of choice. You see this little sidebar here, you slide to the left, you find the second app here, long press, you drag and drop where you would like and boom, you're good to go. The second way is with this brand new feature here. So you now have all of the apps which are in the taskbar, they will now show up in all applications. This means when you want to split screen, you find the app in your taskbar, you long press, drag, drop, and now you're split screening. Also here are the recently viewed applications. So if you recently went to an app, you can long press, drag and drop for the split screen as well. The third way to split screen is you open up the first app you want to split screen. You open up the multitasking. You then find the app of choice. You tap on the app icon. You see open in split screen view. You tap into this one and now it will bring you into split screen. Something you may know is there is a limit of three applications which you can split screen with. One, two, and three. But did you know you can actually split screen with a lot more than three apps? Because if I drag and drop here, you can see it says drag it to open. But if I drop in the center, I can drop here for a pop-out view. 
in order to rearrange this prop out view just drag by the edges to resize it's a bit finicky you will get used to it you have the blue bar here you can see the opacity option you're also going to see this split screen button when you tap into this it will place the pop out view app on top of an application which is already multitasking for some reason you can't choose which app that is uh, that is a samsung thing and if you tap the bar again you tap this icon you will place the back, uh, app back in pop out view and the previous app is still showing up you can also choose whatever app you would like to split screen on your device by tapping on the triple uh, dots icon or it's nine dots find the app you want to multitask with drag and drop you can also slide from the right hand side and you also have a triple lines here all apps drag drop now you may have noticed i can split screen with any app on my z fold 4 most likely you cannot that's because I went to the settings app, then found advanced features, and from here you can find labs. You can scroll down until you see multi window for all apps, full screen in split screen view. Now, what this means is you can see allow all apps to open in pop up view or split screen, including apps that haven't been designed for these layouts. So, let's choose an app which usually does not support split screen i tap on all apps an application which does not usually support split screen would be well let's just choose one let's just assume pubg new state boom <laughs> so i have the pubg game at the bottom and now i have my internet at the top how cool is that and i can even resize my game and app as well whether or not you would split screen a game and app is a different story but it is cool that it exists. If you slide down from the top, you're gonna to see the notifications and the control center. If you slide down one more time, you'll see all of the controls. But did you know that with most controls, you can tap below the toggle, so let's say Wi-Fi. When I tap below it, I can see all of my Wi-Fi networks in my Z Fold 4 and connect directly from the control center. The same applies for stuff like Bluetooth. I want to connect to Bluetooth devices, I can do so without exiting the current app I am on. Also, if you slide to the furthest right hand side page, you can tap on plus and you can see all of these other buttons which are available for the control center. Let's say you'd like to create notes a lot, long press on the notes, drag, drop, and boom. You can also remove toggles you don't use. Maybe you never go into dex mode, long press, uh, long press dex, drag drop boom and of course you can rearrange where all of these toggles are if you mess things up too much you can always tap on reset a reset and it will give you the default order did you also know in the control center you can screen record by tapping on the screen recorder none means no sounds will be recorded media means system sounds game sounds audio on the device will be recorded media and mic means those system sounds, but also you speaking will be recorded. You can change the video quality, you tap on done, tap on the screen recorder, and tap on start recording right here. You'll have a countdown, you can skip, and you can see the recording right here. And when you wanna stop, you just tap on the stop, just like that. Well, if you want to open up an app, maybe the camera app, and you want to use the front camera right here, when you fold your phone the screen locks how do we change that so what you're going to do is you're going to open up the settings app you're then going to scroll down until you see display you're then going to scroll all the way down until you see continue apps on cover screen and then you just choose which app you would like to continue so it, when i select camera and i unfold the phone and I open up the camera app and i fold up you're gonna notice the phone doesn't look, I can still use the camera app just like so. Keep in mind, some applications will break when you do this. If that's the case, simply find the app in question and then turn it off. So with that being said, tips and tricks video done. I have a 40 minute video on how to use the Z Fold 4. So if you wanna learn everything, check it out in the description. 
With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.